combine great looks with comprehensive standard features, nice on-road dynamics, and an impressive list of safety features, and it all adds up to a standout small car called the Mitsubishi Lancer Sportback. We drove the VRX model, which enjoys the same 2.4-litre, four-cylinder engine fitted to the range-topping Lancer sedan. Good for 125 kilowatts of power and 226 newton meters of torque, the Lancer Sportback is refined and sprightly, both around town and on the freeway. Mitsubishi claims fuel economy of 8.5 litres per 100 k's on the combined cycle, which gives the Lancer an edge over rivals like the Mazda 3 and Honda Civic. Like its sedan brother, the Sportback features stability control as standard in all models. ABS brakes, electronic brake force distribution and brake assist are also standard, and the VRX model we tested comes standard with seven airbags. Compared to the Mazda 3, the Lancer is a little bit let down by the driver's seat, which we found lacks under thigh support. It just needs an extra adjustment in that area, and we'd like to see the steering wheel to be adjustable in reach as well as height. But on the road, the Sportback delivers a high standard of driving dynamics, with a responsive power plant when merging into gaps on the freeway. Our VRX Sportback was fitted with the optional 9-speaker Rockford Fosgate audio system and a sunroof. Large boot-mounted speakers intrude just a little, but are wisely fitted with protective grills so large loads don't cause damage. We had to use the split-fold rear seats to accommodate a full-size set of golf clubs, but with the rear seat completely folded, the flat load area gives the Sportback extra load versatility compared to the sedan. VRX models boast smart key entry and Bluetooth hands-free mobile phone connectivity with steering wheel controls. Also on the steering wheel are paddle shifters for manual changes of the continuously variable transmission. Entry to the Sportback range starts at 21,990, while the VRX we tested will set you back 33,490, which is very handy for Mitsubishi in the current market, where Australian new car buyers are attracted to small cars in ever-increasing numbers.